Hi friends, welcome to a new video. Hope you all are doing great. It's been some time since I did the last uh, drone built video and a lot of things have changed in the world of FPV. And uh, as you all know that uh, recently all the FPV pilots have uh, uh, moved at least some of their uh, drones in their fleet to HD or high definition uh, FPV uh, live downlink. And I also did that and I really enjoyed uh, high definition uh, FPV because uh, it gives you really great uh, signal strength. Uh, you feel more confident when you are in air. So I uh, converted all my drones to FPV from uh, analog to digital uh, using DJI O3 or the, uh, the smaller uh, uh, DJI air units. And uh, this is my last drone, which is still uh, analog. And uh, I wanted to take this drone to my next trip. So I'm going to be converting this drone from analog to HD today. And that's why I decided that uh, why not I record this process to show you how you can convert your analog drones to digital drones uh, using DJI O3. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. And uh, if you don't know about uh, uh, high definition FPV, it's now really a thing. And uh, almost everyone I know is flying uh, HD these days, uh, whether it's using DJI or some other uh, HD0 or some other uh, protocols but uh, in my opinion DJI FPV uh, DJI O3 provides the best performance so that's what I use I already have uh, a DJI O3 enabled drone so this is my 7 inch uh, long range drone I freaking love this drone because uh, the quality of uh, 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 FPV feed I get from this it's uh, phenomenal and uh, this really goes places like when I'm in the air with HD I'm so much more confident compared to when I'm on analog Analog signals are more prone to noise, more prone to uh, interference, but for HD, it's been a rock solid. So yeah, uh, but this drone is, as you know, it's uh, seven inch, it's uh, relatively bigger. So I cannot uh, take it to uh, trips where I need to optimize for storage. So that's why I decided to convert uh, my five inch favorite drone, which is also happened to be the last uh, analog drone in my fleet uh, to HD. So this one is uh, Mark V uh, uh, by Gap RC and I really, really love this drone for freestyle. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is uh, again analog drone. So today I'm going to convert it to high definition and show you what all things you need. So let's uh, move to the overhead camera and let me uh, walk you through the process. All right. So, <coughs> so to convert uh, the uh, drone from uh, analog uh, to HD, you first need to... Uh, remove the analog VTS, VTX. So this one has a rest tank a VTX, which is 5.8 gigahertz. So we're going to remove that and we're going to uh, put a DJI O3. So that's the first step. And because DJI O3 is really expensive, I also decided to add a GPS on it. So the reason I'm doing that is uh, uh, it's really expensive and when you put my GoPro on this drone, the entire drone becomes very, very expensive and you don't want to lose that. And there are chances when, because you have a solid HD downlink, you go places and then you might uh, lose a signal, you might uh, do fail safe. So with the GPS, I am planning to return to home. So beta flight now supports return to home. So if I, uh, during the flight anytime, I lose the signal to the drone, I can just flick the switch and uh, it will come back to the position where I first armed it. So that's why I'm going to add GPS to it. And uh, the last thing I'm also going to add here is a diversity uh, receiver. So this one has uh, uh, exp uh, Express LRS uh, receiver because I'm using Express LRS. But this one has only single antenna. I wanted to add diversity, uh, antenna diversity. So I'm also going to change the receiver. So yeah, in a nutshell, we're going to be removing analog VTX, we're going to be adding DJI O3, we're going to be adding GPS, and we're going to be replacing a uh, normal receiver with the diversity receiver. So yeah, uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. So without further ado, let's just get started. So this is uh, the drone. It's a uh, Mark V by DJI, Mark V by Gepard, sorry. So we're going to first, uh, I'm going to first unscrew it. So all the things that you need uh, to do this, uh, you can find in the description. And this is uh, my new electrical screwdriver and it's really amazing. I really uh, enjoy working with it. Okay, so I removed the top plate and as you can see, uh, we have uh, my stack over here. We have receiver, we have uh, the uh, analog uh, VTX. So first of all, let me remove this analog uh, VTX. So it's held tight by a zip tie. 
I'm gonna cut that zip tie and uh, I added a pretty long uh, antenna over here which is not really required but I haven't really flown this drone for a very long time so I'm quite excited to convert this to ST. Uh, so that is all we need to do. We need to replace this receiver. We need to replace this uh, video transmitter with DJI O3. And so this is the uh, video transmitter that I have. This is Zeus. Uh, this one is, I think, 1.6 watt. So this one is really powerful and it uh, gives you really good range. But again, uh, good range is not equal to good signal strength, which we get with the HD. And I need something to pry over here. So let me. So there comes the VTX. So this is the VTX I've been using. It's really small for the power it delivers, and it also has smart audio built-in feature. Uh, I probably will be selling this VTX. So if you're interested to buy it, uh, follow me on Instagram, and I'll add all the things that I'm gonna sell. All right, so this is the receiver uh, and I'm also going to be replacing it. But for that, we need to desolder. Uh, first of all, let me show you what we all need to mount DJI O3. So this is the kit that I ordered uh, from Geparsi. And this one, has, this one has everything you needed to mount the DJI O3. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to change the uh, front plate so it can mount the DJI O3 camera. And on the back, we're going to be uh, adding these uh, uh, 3D printed uh, brackets. This is going to hold the DJI O3 air unit. So we also need to remove the front screws. I'm going to do it now. That's the camera bracket for mounting GoPro and similar cameras. Again, 3D printed. And that is my analog camera, which I also going to be uh, removing. So first of all, let me remove these couple of screws from down there. All right, so now we have uh, the brackets removed. I think it's now time to add the DJI O3. But before that, let me first desolder this uh, analog camera. And I can safely desolder it because uh, the DJI O3 camera is connected directly to the air unit using uh, a ribbon cable. And that's why we don't require to solder the camera to the flight controller. But we also need to attach a DJI O3 directly to the flight controller. This flight controller, this is uh, by SpeedyB and it has a port over here to attach DJI O3 directly. That's what con I'm going to be using. But before that, let me quickly desolder it. And for that, I require my soldering iron. All right, so this is the analog camera that we just desoldered. And this is the last analog drone that was in my fleet. No more 5.8 gigahertz analog going forward, <laughs> only uh, DJI FPV. I'm also gonna be desoldering the VTX cable since we don't need that anymore. <laughs> okay, everything is desoldered. And the good part about this flight controller is this comes with a a port where you can directly connect the DJI O3. This is the port. But first of all, let's unbox the DJI O3 air unit. So this is how it looks, a DJI O3 air unit. And I'm using DJI Integra goggles, but this can be bound to DJI goggles V2 or DJI goggles 2. So let's peel this off and the shiny DJI branding we all love. All right, so I need to figure out how to mount it, but I think this is gonna be pretty straightforward. I have seen some videos. Yeah, I think that's how it's gonna be held over here. Yeah. So that's how it's gonna fit. Uh, the bracket that came with uh, the uh, conversion kit and you can see the USB is uh, perfectly visible. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to route the wire from below and connect it directly to my SpeedyB flight controller. 
and this should go perfectly like this and you can see it's uh, directly connected to the flight controller using this inbuilt port and let me cut this off for time being and mount this over here all right so i have successfully mounted the dji o3 as you can see uh, the usb port is directly accessible and the good part about this mount is if you notice closely the dji o3 air unit is on the air so this is really helpful for air for heat dissipation and uh, airflow because uh, this o3 air unit can get really hot so this is a really great design i would say the next step is to mount the o3 camera and this only goes one way so we need to be very careful we need to make sure that the dji logo is facing upwards and for that we're gonna be using uh, these mounts that came with the conversion kit and we're gonna be mounting it like this yep that's how it should go so let me quickly mount it all right so the camera is also now installed as you can see uh the camera is safe and okay the camera is safe and secured and you can also change the angle this is looking really great and neat so the next step is to add the new receiver and i have that over here so this is the new diversity receiver by radio master and we're gonna add this one over here Hmm, hopefully we will have some space for this to mount. I need to verify by putting the top plate first. There is really less space, so I probably gonna add it to the front. meanwhile let's figure out the gps situation so this is the gps unit as you can see and uh, this one doesn't come with the magnetometer but uh, we really don't need that in beta flight so let me quickly see how i'm gonna adjust this so i've already 3d printed the mount and this fits good this really looks good and over here my antenna can be mounted so this looks like a really neat setup i just need to figure out uh, wiring of everything and i think we should be good so that's the next step let me figure out the wiring and see everything is working okay so next step is to add the uh, receiver since there is no space at the back i'm gonna be adding uh, over here and this requires just four wires uh ground power receiver and transmitter so these are available over here let me quickly solder this up. All right, so I have also soldered the GPS uh, unit with the flight controller. And this is overall how it looks. So on the back, we have a GPS connected to the flight controller. We have uh, the DJ air unit and on the front we have the camera and we have the receiver. I'll tidy up this wire later. So now everything is connected and let's see if everything is working. So let's connect it to beta flight and I'll show you the setup process. So first of all, let's activate the DJ O3 air unit and also bind it to our goggles. So let me share my screen. So first of all, let's activate the DJI A3 air unit. So for that, uh, we're gonna be using a software called uh, DJI Assistant 2 for consumer drones. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna connect the DJI O3 air unit with the USB-C cable and wait for this to show up. So that shows DJI 3 air unit. I'm gonna start the activation process and I'm gonna confirm my email account. It says activation complete. That is good. So the next step is to bind it to my uh, goggles. I have the Integra, but uh, let's see if it has any uh, software upgrade. So I'm just going to disconnect it again and connect it back. And meanwhile, I'll pull up my DJ Integra goggles. So these are my DJ Integra goggles. I'm going to turn it on. 
I need to make sure this is on the DJI O3 unit. So I think I'm on the latest firmware. I don't see any firmware upgrade. So that is good. I can close this and I can disconnect the USB cable. Now what I need to do, I need to, uh, I think I need to turn the power button down for a few seconds. Let me do that. So my goggles is now in the binding mode. Now what I need to do, I need to press this binding button on the DJI O3 Air unit uh, while I attach the battery to the drone. So let me do that. So my goggles is now in the binding mode. What I need to do, I need to press down the binding button on the DJI uh, A3 Air unit, which you can find over here. And then I need to attach battery. So let me do that. I'm gonna press the button with the help of this. All right, so my goggles are now been bound to DJI uh, O3 Air unit. I'm not sure if you can see, but uh, I have the display inside the goggles. So that's a really good thing. I can see uh, the goggles are bound. So yeah. Uh, pretty much everything is covered. Now my drone is uh, fully converted to uh, analog from HD and uh, I'm gonna, you know, uh, close it and uh, show you a test flight. So let's go to a quick test flight and see how it flies. Alright, so the quad flies really good. And that was all the steps required to convert your analog FPV drone to HD using DJI O3. Hope you really enjoyed this video. And I'm gonna take this drone to my next uh, travel trip and share some videos. Uh, meanwhile, I enjoy flying FPV and I'll see you again in the next video.